Hi, I'm Caitlin Wallace Rowland, artist and textile designer. Welcome to my New Orleans studio. On the first day of one of my first undergraduate art courses, the professor handed us each a yellow post-it note, and he told us to write down this quote by Annie Dillard, bind my attention to both the vigor and the detail of the actual world. We were told to put it somewhere we would see it every day and let it serve as a reminder of the importance of observing the details of the world around us. Before I had kids, particularly when I was in grad school, I spent a lot of time painting in plein air. I would take my sketchbook and paints and pastels, and I would draw in the squares of downtown Savannah and botanical gardens and people's front yards, parks, even the community gardens. I think there's something so important about paying attention and drawing from the world around you. And I love that my paintings then capture those moments and places, and I can share them with others in that way. I grew up in a small rural town in Illinois, way out in the country between farmland and forest. I spent a lot of time outside in the creek in my backyard, surrounded by trees and flowers, herb and vegetable gardens. Nature is very important to me, and it flows into nearly all the work I create. I've lived in New Orleans for 12 years now, and it has influenced my art a lot as well. The bold, uninhibited use of color, the vibrancy, the celebrations, the unending greenery, flowers that bloom year round. The city is full of so much beauty and imperfection, all intertwined. I mostly paint from my studio now, but I still reference photos I've taken or some memory or story I'm trying to share. Lemons and oranges picked fresh from a friend's backyard citrus trees. Cosmos flowers blooming in City Park while walking my newborn daughter in her stroller. Scenes from neighborhood walks in New Orleans. Broccoli flowers blooming in the Scad Community Gardens. Magnolia trees we planted in our front yard. I like the challenge of taking those things and combining them into a certain composition or repeat, and then seeing the way they work alongside other patterns. Years ago, my grandfather wrote two books of short stories about his life, and I like thinking of my art and fabric collections in that way as well. Each collection, a published story, in pattern and print.